Today I will show you how to make the surveillance effect. Yo, hello, it's Povika Smerting Visuals here, and let's begin. Alright guys, so the first thing you'll want to do is download this surveillance cube that I have linked in the description. It's gonna be in PNG, and just drop it in your After Effects, and here we can cut it up to our clip size. You can press Ctrl Shift D to cut, and now what we want to do is right click on the cube, go to blending mode, and go to add. Now here we can add some effects on the cube to make it a bit cooler. At first I like to add S flicker and you can change this to whatever you want. I just like to change it to 0.21 and I think that looks cool. And another effect I like to add is deep glow and here I like to make the deep glow exposure to 1.2 and the radius to 104. All right let's go to the cube and press on this motion blur setting and now let's press s and just scale it down to like 38 or something. You will scale this down to whatever your is or you might even have to scale it up I'm not even sure and you can now just take the cube and just roll it around. I'm guessing I can maybe lower the scale like to 33. Yeah, that looks good. And now what you want to do here is press on this scale stopwatch and now press P. It will open up the position stopwatch and press on this as well. Now press U two times and here we will have our keyframes right now. So we can go around the clip and just track our character like this. And now you can see it's kind of zooming out but it's still hella scaled up. So we're going to scale it out to like 17 here and let's just see how it goes. Oh well, here it needs some fixing. So yeah just fix it up. You can do this with 3D camera checker as well but it's going to be a bit worse i'm not gonna lie and make sure to go to the ending frame and just have it pretty nicely here once you finish tracking we can start adding some cool effects to give that surveillance look i also have s shake on my clip added because i just wanted to shake a bit but you really do not need this by the way this is just what i like to do so these are the s shake settings if you want you can copy these so now i'm gonna press ctrl alt y and add it below the surveillance cube and here i'm going to start adding some cool effects i'm gonna make this sort of like a night vision look first i like to add night vision it's all repeated it in after effects but let's go to effects and presets panel now and here i'll type mosaic and add it on top of every effect that we had and i like to make horizontal blocks 200 and vertical blocks 200 and now we can go to effects and presets and here we can add motion tile i like to add it below mosaic and here i like to make output width to 80 and we can add s flicker this does require the sapphire plugin by the way and here we can make the amplitude to 0.4 and now let's add cc vignette and i like to make the amount to 200 something like 37 and now let's add signal add everything just below now signal must be like a top three plugin for sure for me for signal strength make the signal strength to 200 cut off filter to 1 i like to make the luma noise to 10 and now let's go to luma modulation and i like to just click off tape errors just check it off and that looks pretty cool right now and the last effect I like that is add grain you can also use s grain if you want but i'm just gonna use this and uh, let's go to viewing mode and i like to make it final output and the intensity i like to make to 1.5 that looks really cool and you can save this as a preset if you want you can just press on one of the, one of the effects press ctrl a go to animation save animation animation preset Set. and I like to call it like surveillance effect and press save and whenever you want to add it you can just go here and type surveillance effect and just drop it down here uh, you can definitely mess around way more here this is just pretty simple in my opinion and if you guys want to make this a bit more enhanced you can use my damage tv presets pack which is a vhs plus crt style pack that includes over 30 plus presets and i can show you what looks you can get by just using the pack so you can just press ctrl alt y and just turn off the last effect and here i can add like damaged tv for the fun part of the video i will show you an effect that is going to be in my update that's coming out super soon so i will add damage tv 27 version 2 and this is the effect you will get. I think it's an incredible effect. Uh, we have way more of these effects and the update will include over 10 effects as well. The people who have the pack will get the update for free. And also I just really recommend to mess around with the pack and you can use code POVICAS to save $5 off. And that's about it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, then please let me know and have a fun and productive day. See ya.